हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग न्यूटन्स डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस फॉर्मूला कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ सिक्स फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यूटन डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस और सिंपली द डिवाइडेड डिफरेंस टेबल ओके सो वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स corresponding to that the value of fx is given we need to find the value of f uh, we need to find fx or uh, just you have to give the value of f of 6 okay so even if you uh, don't completely so that polynomial you need to just give the value of that polynomial at at, f, uh, at 6 okay so let's first create the table so table will be something like this you will have some x you will have some y and followed by that you will have the first divided difference which will look something like this you will have second divided difference and you will have third divided difference i hope only 3 will be there because four data are there so let's make a better table here so these are the values of x uh four of them so let's make some tidy table then we have some values of y then i need uh some more space for first divided difference then followed by that i have the second divided difference and finally your third divided difference okay so these are uh, the tables which are there now <coughs> let's wrap this up okay so how to make table let's first write the x and y values so here x is 1 y is also 1 when x is 2 y is 5 when x is 7 y is again 5 and when x is 8 y is 2 so what we do in uh, the first divided difference we write in numerator y uh, let's uh, write the points here uh, with different color then it will be better so this is nothing but your x not value x1 x2 and x3 and these are your y not y1 y2 and y3 <clears throat> so roughly if i speak uh so your first difference looks like something like this y 1 minus y not divided by x 1 minus x not although i am going to remove this in the next step so that we are going to write this numerically okay so in the first difference it will be 5 minus 1 at least we can write that much divided by 2 minus 1 so this will be 4 divided by 1 which is 4 only fine next 5 minus 5 which is 0 so that will give you 0 divided by we don't need to go that much ahead 4 minus 5 is minus 
divided by 8 minus 7 is 1. So this is nothing but minus 1 only again. Okay, that's it for the first difference. Now what we have to do in the second difference? Numerator will be similar. That means in numerator we have to do the same thing. 0 minus 4. But in denominator, rather than doing 2 minus 1, this time we have to do 7 minus 1. We have to leave a gap of 1. Okay, so 7 minus 1 this time. So 7 minus 1 is nothing but 6. So minus 4 by 6 is minus 2 by 3. Then again the other one, minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1 only. And this uh, we write uh, in some order that means between 4 and 0 this minus 2 by 3 needs to be written. So just because I have shown some calculation it is not looking that better. Let's make it better. First of all, the color of the eraser needs to be matched with the background. Okay. So, minus 2 by 3 simply need to write. And what happened there? It is nothing but f of x. So minus 2 by 3 just between this and minus 1 by 8 minus 2 is 6. So minus 1 by 6 just between this two. And finally minus 1 by 6 minus 2 by 3. So if I will have calculator it will be a bit handy for me. So I have minus 1 by 6 plus 2 by 3 it will be there. So plus 2 by 3. But this is giving me half. And this will be divided by not this time. We will uh, take difference of 2. So difference of 2 if you take. So this will be giving you 8 minus 1 which is 7. Okay. So first we took 2 minus 1, something like that. In the next divided difference, we took 7 minus 1, leaving the gap of 1. And in the last divided difference, we are taking by gap of 2, that means 8 minus 1. Okay. And the single uh, such entity exists because you can't further take the gap of uh, 2. Okay. So that's it. Uh, and here also only we have 2. So if you took the difference, it was 1 by 2. 1 by 2 divided by 7 is 1 by 4. Fine. So there we complete our table. And as per the table, uh, you can uh, see that the values which are corresponding to this are of our use. So I can say the that the, this expression, if uh, someone asks you, this will be 4. Then the second divided difference y naught will be minus 2 by 3. Third one will be 1 by 40. What is the divided difference formula? Newton's divided difference formula. It is fx or y simply is y naught plus x minus x naught multiplied by the first divided difference plus x minus x naught x minus x1 second divided difference plus x minus x naught 
x minus x1 x minus x2 and the third divided difference that's how simple it is so your y or fx is y naught was 1 plus x minus x naught was 1 first divided difference was 4 x1 is 2 second divided difference is minus 2 by 3 x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 7 and third divided difference is 1 by 14 further is not needed okay now i if i want i can uh, uh, further simplify this to get a polynomial but as because they have asked the, to find us the value of f of 6 so rather than going that way we can directly plug in the value of 6 because this is nothing but uh, f of x only okay so if uh, we put uh, the value of x uh, of that x on both sides so you will be getting f of 6 value to be equal to 1 plus 6 minus 1 is 5 5 into 4 is 20 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 2 is 4 into minus 2 by 3 then you have 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 2 is 4 6 minus 7 is minus 1 into 1 by 40. Let's calculate what it is coming out to be. So I have first 20 plus 1 which is 21 uh, plus uh, 20 multiplied by this uh, minus 2 by 3. Okay minus 20 multiplied by 1 by 14 1 by 14 and this is coming out to be 6.2380 in the textbook it is given 6.2381 uh, approximately you can take right 6.238 up if you want to up to three decimal places so f of 6 value is coming out to be 6.2 Two three eight. Okay, and write correct up to three decimals. Fine. If you are not focusing on that, we will be focusing as far as this problem was concerned. We were more concerned about how to make the divided difference table. So I took a simple example of that. And you know uh, now how to create uh, the divided difference table. For the first divided difference, just y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0. For the second divided difference, you do y1 minus y0, uh, not y1 minus y0, whatever you got previous. That the successive difference. And here you do x2 minus x0. And in third divided difference in denominator, you do x3 minus x0. Okay. okay. So I hope you understand. Uh, you can watch out more problem uh, because I have that playlist which is uh, numerical techniques and interpolation. Okay. So you can watch out that for more such interesting problem. Thanks again for